Royal Team and Cordero. And they both knew it was realer than the front. They decided to connect and make a family and have a lot of fun. That's how cool they What's happening? We're back in Cool Kids. It's your butt. See, this is cool, and I'm back again with another video. This time, guys, we're gonna be doing a lot of epic stuff as usual because you know what time it is box opening time. That's right, man. I got another box delivered just a few minutes ago, man. And you know what else? I invested into a box cutter. Not your normal one, a plastic one, but it still does the job, as you see. Let's check out this box of shoes. I cannot wait to see what's in here. Flip it over, throw that down. There. I think the top was still on there too, jeez. Oh my God, finally got the shattered backboards. Oh my, I've been waiting so long and patient for these. They finally went down in price. They was over a thousand dollars at first, but I think I got away with less than thousand dollars this time, man. It's crazy, man. Thank God Flight Club actually found somebody to drop the price because I was not trying to pay 1300 for these shoes, man. But I did want these shoes nevertheless. These are probably one of the most sexiest premium leather Jordans ever. I've never even been able to hold my own pair. This is the first time. The leather on these is unreal, man. It can't be matched. I don't know about another retro one that feels like this. I mean, they all look pretty similar, but trust me, if you ever felt this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, guys, royalty is asleep, and I am not about to just let that ruin my day, all right? It's a beautiful day outside, so I gotta be productive, especially since I'm about to do my epic sneaker collection video with my homie Andy. You know he's the best videographer out there, so I had to get him to help me do this video, because without him, I would literally be holding this camera right here, trying to show you all the shoes I got, and that ain't gonna work. So, like I said, my homie Andy is gonna be over here shortly. Him and Roy might come. Andy is gonna be able to record the shoes. Roy is gonna be able to take some pictures of the shoes, and it's going down, man. And not only that, if you haven't seen my Instagram post, guys, I don't want you to miss this. Download the app Instagram, it's free. Create an account. Follow me on Instagram at CJ underscore so cool. And then you will see my most recent post. It speaks about a giveaway, all right? I'm about to give away three pair of shoes, not just any kind of shoes. These shoes I'm wearing right here. That's right, the Pharrell NMDs, Body and Earths, man. That's crazy because you know what? This actually wasn't my idea, so I don't want to take full credit for it. The homies over at Stadium Goods hit me up today and was like, yo, I know we're giving away $6,000 worth of shoes when you hit $6 million, but you want to tease them a little bit by giving away three pairs of the latest shoes you got from us? I was like, what? Are you serious? Of course I want to give some more shoes away, bro. Let's do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And you know what? He created a caption. I posted a picture. And everything that you have to do is on that picture. And you know what? I'm also going to paste it in my description as well. Just in case some of you guys don't have Instagram, you can find it in the description right below. All the way back home, guys, and I unintentionally went and got the new iPhone, which I'm sure no one cares about. Thanks a lot, Julia, for helping me with that. That's just a box from the container store. You know where I get all my shoe containers from, guys? Bruh, I cannot believe that I randomly went out to get some shoe boxes and found out that there was a new iPhone. I didn't know this was out, but now that I know it's out, I got it. Or should I say, since I found out it was out, I got it. Either way it goes, man, let's crack this open and log on to it and see what it's all about. I guess now would be a good time to crack open my new iPhone X Max. Or did I say that wrong? I think it's a XS Max. Either way, who gives a crap? It's still the same exact phone as last time and every time they never change it man look at that this looks just like the 10 just a little bit bigger not that much bigger i mean i can actually hold it it's perfect that's what it is it's just perfect i actually like it let me stop hating on it real quick bro this mug gonna cut on or i gotta there we go gotta do something special well while that's cutting on over there we gonna check out the headphones up oh, they the same hold on are they hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, they the same, I can look at that. I thought these was the wireless ones. See what I'm saying? Ain't nothing changed. Same charger, same that, same that. Same cut on screen. Same box that doesn't display what number it is. To the point now where we can't decide if we got an iPhone 8, 9, 10, 11. What the heck is going on here? What's happening, Wolfpack and Cool Kids? It's your boy. 
See, this is cool that I'm still here, same video. Now, guys, I have not recorded a lot, but a lot has went on in my life. But, you know, we ain't gonna talk about none of that because we have a great thing about to go down right now. Now, a lot of you probably like, what's this, a box opening? Actually, I'm not gonna lie. It is a box right there, and we are gonna open it, but this ain't about that either. My grandmother is here, man. I know, right? Everybody's like, okay. What does that mean? I mean, my actual grandmother, the one who adopted me and turned into my real mother, she's here, okay? You know what that means? She flew 3,000 miles from Gary, Indiana, all the way out here to come see her grandson, AKA her son, which is me. And, and it's just been a great thing, man. I've been chilling with her for two days, and she's in the room sleep right now. So we're gonna bust up in there, and you guys are gonna get to see my grandma for the first time. Hopefully she got on some clothes, pajamas or whatever. She just might be asleep, because last night I took her to the casino, and it was lit, man. Just to see my grandma having fun in the casino for the first time. I've never been able to gamble with her. And this shouldn't be about gambling because I'm not a gambler. Actually, I haven't been to the casino in months. Which is probably why last night I won $2,000 off just $200. Man, that's crazy. But anyway, this ain't about me or my shoes or my casino winners last night. This is about my granny. Shkada! Got the door all closed. This is my house. What the heck? Treat her like she would have treated me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she's in Kamari room, too. Mm-hmm. What the? <laughs> Yo, boys, guys, scared. What you here doing watching TV? Why you watching TV? What? You don't want me to put you on camera? Oh, man. Well, she was in here watching this stupid show right here, and I just yeeted her. I ain't mean to scare you. Let me feel your heart. Dang, you scary. I didn't know you was that scary. This is my first time busting in your room. You got all the doors closed. That's the first time somebody ever, ever bust in. Like, whoa. Well, that's how you used to do me when I was a kid. Seem familiar? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm the grown up now. This is my house. And you can go by my rules. Nobody stay in the bed this long. It's 12 p.m. Get up out the bed, get some breakfast. Well, well, my grandma getting up and getting situated so she can get ready to meet you guys for the first time officially. I'm gonna open this box. You know what's crazy? The box is literally almost already opened. Shout out to FedEx, ghetto people over there. They always trying to go through my stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember ordering this. Actually, I don't remember ordering anything. What is this? Bunch of hoodies? Whoa. A pink stadium good hoodie? You know they probably gave me this for the frizzy. Hold on, man, this one got an S on it, so this is a small, might be for royalty. So we got royalty a hoodie for free, me a hoodie for free, it looks like. What else in here? Some more socks? Man, they love giving me free socks. You know what, I never wear socks, man. Why they keep giving me socks for free? My grandma might want them, though. Anyway, man, oh, did they give me free shoes? Hold up, wait a minute. I don't remember what happened, but I think, I think I ordered these off there. Now I can't really remember anymore. Cause this is this is just too good to be true. Hold on, man. Is it one, two, three, four, five pair of shoes in the same box? Are you kidding me? You see how my life is, Grandma? Now you going over there and take your pills. I'm not gonna show that part, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Grandma popping pills and all that. Anyway, I need my box cutter, which I think is all the way up there. So I will be right back. I don't know if I should be doing this, putting this box cutter this close to the box. But I got no other. Ooh, I flipped this box. Hopefully it's not legit. Cool. Ah. Ah. That shit hurt it. Okay, guys, that was hard. So obviously I did it off camera, but I've completed the task. I got all the plastic bags off of my shoe boxes. And now the only thing left to do is to see what exactly I got. Now, the funny thing is I've never seen a box like this. Let me show you the side real quick. You see it, Supreme Dog. Hold on, what this one look like? Same thing, man. Oh my God, this is my first time getting some Supreme kicks. Now, that's not a lot. I got some off-white, but I never bought Supreme shoes, man. Oh, 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 I can see a little bit of it right there. Hold on real quick, I need some help. Granny, what you doing? You just watching, doing a lot of watching. You ain't doing no helping, oh my God. Whoa, bro. Look how crispy these is, man. All the Cavaliers, I see y'all. My used to be favorite team. The Knicks is super big on this, man. The quality is legit though, bro. Hold on, let me feel that strap. Oh yeah, they got Supreme stitched on here too, man. This is legit, bro. Hold on, who all on here? The Pistons, Indiana Pacers, Chicago Bulls, Orlando Magic, Boston Celtics, New York Knicks, Cleveland Cavaliers, Philadelphia 76ers, Brooklyn Nets, Detroit Pistons. Oh, I just said Detroit Pistons. That's it? 
Wow. So, oh, 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 the other shoe might have everybody else. Hold on. Dig. So that's the east and this the west. Shake it to the one you love the best. Get it. I got the Lakers over here, the Golden State Warriors, the Dallas Mavericks. I got the Houston Rockets. I got the San Antonio Spurs. I got the Portland Trailblazers. I got the Oklahoma City Thunder. Suns over here. And I got the Timberwolves, bro. It's super lit. Is anything on the tongue? They got the Supreme logo on the tongue right there. Anything inside there? Look like just a red sole, but either way, these are lit, man. These must be all black. I was correct, oh mundo, oh my goodness. I can't decide which one is better looking. I need some help in the comment section right now. They're the same exact shoe, one's white, one's black. Don't be racist, which one you think look better? Come on now, quit playing. And let's see what else your boy got. Okay, I done tore the whole box up now, okay. I'm too scared right now. I see something right there. It's green, it's lime green. These shoes are about to be exotic. Oh, the retro threes. These premium suede, oh my God. Now when I bought these, man, oh, look at the gun clear bottom. When I bought these, Royalty was right there and she said these are lame and ugly. She was wrong, man. Look at the back, it don't even got a jump man on it, man. These are crazy. These are super dope. Look at that, man. I don't know if anybody got these or not in the comment section. Were you able to cop these when they drop? You just a hater, number one hater. Borderline just can't get over yourself from hating. Look at this clear Jumpman logo, man. They always come orange. This one is clear, that's super legit. The sole looks like it's actually white. That is crazy. It feels kind of soft in there too. I can't wait to actually wear these, bro. Hold on, what this say right here? Oh, that's the official stadium good thing. You know what I'm saying? Letting you know your shoes are legit. Move these over here to the side. This is actually my first sneaker box in the middle of the living room floor. But hey, there's a time for everything. We got two more boxes left and I do not want to disappoint anybody. Is this the box I cut open? This is actually the box that I cut through the bag and slipped the box. So this might be the latest shoe we got today. Never know. Oh, these are super old, man. I never was able to get them though. I saw them online and I said, you know what? I need these shoes, bro. Why not? I mean, I'm actually gonna wear these too and that. Most of the shoes I get, I don't wear. I ain't gonna say most of them. A lot of the shoes I get, I don't wear though. But I do wear a lot of shoes at that. But these have to get worn by me. These are super crispy, super bloody. I'm loving it. Let me keep these out too. Hold on, did my grandma just steal some shoes? What are you going with that? Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, you being a little helper right now. Okay, you scared me, you scared me. See what's in here, last but never least. Some more knives, but this time some Dor and Beckers. Oh, shout out to Oswaldo Jimenez. He's 10 years old and he's diagnosed with preliminary hypertension, guys. His hobbies is soccer, playing cello. I don't know what that is. And his favorite shoe is obviously the retro knives, baby. Oh my God, you know what's crazy? Royalty got these before me, man. She went up inside Urban Necessities and cop. I asked them if they had them in my size and they didn't. I was devastated, crying, literally hurt. You know what Royalty did? She threw it in my face the whole time. Not only that, she actually took the shoes out the box and wore them, man. I was just like, what is wrong with you? You're not supposed to wear them shoes. You're supposed to save them shoes. Look at the bottom of them shoes. One green and one red. I bet you Royalty didn't know that. Wow, so when it's all said and done, I got two pair of Supreme Forces, two pair of Retro Nines, and one pair of Colorful Threes. It's going down, man. And you know what? I think I'm finally, seriously ready to do my epic sneaker collection video. I'm ready to count all the shoes I've collected over this time and show you guys my favorite shoes. Look at my grandma, she's really helping right now. You're taking all the bags, she, she's smart. The kids, they never would've did it like this. I gotta keep you around a lot longer, man. Man. What are these? These you put in here? Yeah. Oh, okay, so them already set for life. Actually, I was gonna break all the boxes down, smash them up, but no, these I'm keeping. Well, I'll just keep this one, I'll just keep one of them. I like to keep those special boxes, like boxes I never had before or different from the other ones. Like this Jordan box is in here. These are regular, every, every Jordan come in them. But I never had this box, so I'm gonna keep it. But now that I'm all the way done with that, how do you like the house, Grandma? I love it. You love it? Everything you expected or more? More. More? Wow, that's crazy. Glad I could impress you. Anyway, guys, I forgot to tell you that a lot of kids actually come to my grandma's house in New Marshalltown and Gary, Indiana, and they always do nice things and say nice things. And I wanted to tell all of you guys, you were right. She is my grandma, and you did have the right house. And for those of you who had friends who didn't believe you, tell them to kiss my, you know what? 801. Hey, man, it's about to go down. Got the crew here, my boy Roa. You see him already working a scat at. 
You got Andy right there. What you doing, man? You got the mics hooked up? Yeah, mic hey. My boy, Jose, what are you doing? You about to play 2K? You better not log into my account. Ain't nobody playing with you now. No, nah, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. Yeah, all right. But yeah, man, it's going down. You see what we have to do is open up all the cases because the light, it was just shining off. Now it actually looks more realistic with all the cases open. You can see the colors for what they really are. You know what I'm saying? I got to show you something, guys. Now, I shouldn't be doing this because this is going to be in the video, but all of my 11s are right here, man. This is crazy that I got 13 pair of 11s sitting right here. Just get it. A few moments later. What's happening, Wolf Pack and Cool Kids? It's your butt. See, this is cool, and I'm finally back again with another video. Except this time, guys, I'm about to show you my epic sneaker collection. That's right. Now, a lot of people have tried to take the crown from me, but I am no longer allowing that. I'm prepared to show you guys not 100, not 200, not 300, but 302 pairs of shoes today, man. The list is crazy, man. I put together the top. 10 shoes of my collection, not only that, I've also put together my top favorite shoes, not just including Jordans, I'm talking about every shoe in my collection. Then I got my top 10 favorite designer shoes. The list goes on, but you know what? You've waited long enough for this video, so why keep you waiting any longer? Let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, now a lot of you are already in the comment section saying, yeah, right, you don't got no 302 pair of shoes, so I'm prepared to count with everybody watching today. If you got a cell phone, pull out the calculator, because it's about to get real. Now, of course, there are some people like, we don't need a calculator to count to 300. Well, if you ever try to count 300 pair of shoes, it's a lot different from just randomly counting, okay? You can get confused, you can get messed up, you might even miscount, and next thing you know, you gotta start all the way over. So I'm not trying to do that. Today I have my calculator, and I'm gonna show you guys how I keep counting my shoes. First of all, we're gonna count going from the top to the bottom, then we're gonna go across and multiply, all right? So for all you young kids watching this video, this can actually be very educational for you guys, all right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight going down. Let's see how many rows across we got. First of all, don't forget to put the eight. You're gonna have to multiply times eight, whatever this number is right here. So let's go across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And if Andy could get in the back, we got another shoe in the crevice back there, which means we got a whole hidden row that you guys probably didn't even know about. All right, so it looks like we're stuck with eight times 12. For everybody in America, that's 96, all right? So this right here is 96 pair of shoes. That doesn't include this or these at the bottom. So we still got a lot of work to do over here, all right? So remember that number, 96, because we're gonna have to use the calculator again and we're gonna have to go over these. So we're gonna start with one, two, three, four going down. Let's see how many we got going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 times four, guys. All right, this is crazy because now we got 48 plus 96. That's 144 shoes right there alone. All right, now we're gonna go to this side right here, which we didn't open the cases to. It's cool, we're not gonna open the cases to these because it was kind of blocking that, but I'm sure you guys don't care about all that. Let's keep counting. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. We're gonna gladly add 16 to that 144 and get 160, all right? Now I think we should personally move over here before we forget about these shoes. And while I'm here, let me explain what's in here and how we got here. This is a box your kicks sneaker box. On the top is a Jumpman Jordan symbol. And as you can see right here, it's my handsome face, the CJ So Cool logo. Now in the box, I've chosen to put these specific shoes in here for a reason. We got all the Doran Beckers right there. And we even have a pair of Doran Becker sixes right here. I'm not trying to throw you off. I still got 160 on my calculator. I'm sure you guys are still keeping count as well, but let's keep track of what we got. We got four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 more in there. I'm gonna gladly add 14 and get 174. And we're gonna move over here, guys, all right? Now these are the designer shoes. I don't know how you guys feel about me counting these within the sneakers, but I'm gonna let you know this. It's only fair that I do this since all of these count, they cost money. They have to count, they cost money, they're not free. I wear them as a sneaker. I mean, I don't go to like old people dance clubs and like do the salsa in them. I don't know what you guys are expecting, but let's keep count. We got 174 plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven going down times four, all right, that's 28 plus 28, we got 202, all right guys? That's crazy, we already over 200 pair of shoes 
before we even move over here. And this, this is crazy, man, because I gotta take a break to get some water right now. I'm literally dehydrated. I don't know if you can tell, but counting 202 pair of shoes is a lot harder than you guys probably thought. All right, guys, after that quick water break, I'm ready to show you guys how many shoes we actually got all together. And no, I ain't cheating. I still got a big 202 right there, and if you need me to start over, I won't, okay? Now, we're gonna continue counting them like going like this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I'm gonna add that 14, and for those of you that's wondering, this is the Nike Air Mag box, all right? That's the original Nike Air Mag box. That's why I didn't count that shoe, because that shoe is that shoe. So as you see, I'm not a cheater. But keeping in mind that I just proved to you guys I'm not a cheater and I don't have to jump the numbers of my shoes, I got four pair of shoes in here. I actually, these came with four pair, but two pair are still in here and the other two pair are actually in boxes. So when I count these shoes, I'm gonna count two more because there's two more shoes in there and I'm not making this up. Right now we're at 216, we're gonna go over two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. We're gonna add 30 and we're gonna come up with 246. Guys, make sure you keep it counting at home. Make sure you make sure I'm not messing up as well, all right? We're gonna continue counting up here. We're gonna actually go down and across and then we're gonna start over with that row right there. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait, 13 going down? Hold on, I'm sure I ain't messing up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I was messing up. You stupid. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we got 12 by 4. And guys, you know what? That I ain't got to do all that. That's 48. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 48 plus 8, guys, gives us a whopping 56. So we're going to add 56 to that and get 302 the number that I said before this video even started. I am not a liar, guys. I'm very good at counting as well. And I actually am proud of myself for collecting over 300 pair of shoes because honest to God, true guys, I used to sell sneakers. There's a lot of you guys out there that are aspiring sneaker sellers or whatever you guys are doing. I used to be just like that. All right, I used to get a pair of shoes. Take this for instance. No, let's take, take these Supreme Forces right here. If this was me eight years ago and I had these right here, I would have never worn them such as you see. And someone would have wanted to buy them. I could have put them on Facebook and I probably would have sold them for somewhere about $50 more than retail. That's it. That's back in my day. But today in today's time, you little kids out there are hustling your behinds off and getting way more than I would have ever got. I'm proud of you guys. Continue the grind and the hustle. But me personally, I will never sell shoes again. I got this story about this one pair of shoes I'm gonna show you over here. It's a Dornbecker 6. Dornbeckers, for those of you that don't know, they are shoes that are created by kids that are actually in a hospital, all right? Kids that have some type of illness, something wrong with them, and they're chosen by Jordan, and they're actually lucky enough to be chosen by Jordan to actually create a shoe of their choice. They pick all the designs, all the colors, they pick the shoe itself, and then somewhere on that shoe, they try to put their names, all right? That's the cool little fact about these shoes. But this shoe right here, not this exact same one, because that would be impossible. But this shoe right here, this Doran Becker 6, I actually had the original pair. The original one that was ever released, the first one, I had that, all right? Then I sold it for $190. That's crazy, right? You see what I'm saying? I wasn't hustling anybody. I was being nice. I was just literally selling the shoes for exactly what I paid for them, and then that was it. And I was using the money to pay my cell phone bills or eat McDonald's or whatever the case was. But obviously I wasn't in any position to be collecting the shoes. So I was getting the shoes to sell the shoes. And that's just sad. You should get the shoes because you want them. And you should want to create like some type of chemistry between you and that shoe. You shouldn't get that shoe just for the dollar sign. But if you do, and that's your job, that's your business, I'm not going to hate on you. But I would like to show you guys something right here. This is very special to me. These two things right here are called I don't know, sneaker shells or sneaker cases or sneaker boxes, but they were created by the same people that created that bigger one over there, Box Your Kicks. Shout out to you guys. I don't have any shoes in these right now, but that's because I'd rather just put them all out in plastic cases and show these off for actually what they look like. You know what I'm saying? Because if they had shoes in them, I would obviously have to keep them open and you wouldn't be able to see this Gucci print, this Jumpman, and that's just lit to me, man. I think that's lit. Such as these, these are lit too. Something you guys probably never knew I had these Christian Louboutin playing cards. I was gifted these by the Christian Louboutin store. I didn't have to pay for them because they're actually not on sale. They only sell shoes, book bags, and purses, and things like that. But I have the official Christian Louboutin playing cards, 
and that's gold on the edges of those cards, and that's a spike, a gold spike, that's lit, man. I got two pair or two boxes, however you wanna say it. And these are just things I use to fill up the sneaker room, to decorate it, like this Supreme gun. A lot of you have already saw that in most of my music videos. Or these MCM teddy bears. I seriously fell in love with these. First time I ever saw one, I was like, is this seriously on sale right now or is this just a decoration? And I was like, no, it's on sale. And I bought it and I came back and bought the, whatever this is, a rabbit or something. But he got an MCM book bag on himself. So this dude is just all the way lit, man. And then when I, I actually have to buy this separately. This came like it is, and then I have to buy this for like 300. That's crazy. Big old panda. I got this one designer dropped that panda song because I actually thought that this would go on sale one day and be probably super expensive given the fact that he just made pandas very famous. But you know, that never happened, so I'm still holding on to that. But yeah, guys, in this box is very important. I tried to explain to you earlier. I got all of my off-white shoes right here. I only got four pair but they're all right here. And then I have all of my Dornbeckers in here. I only got five pair of Dornbeckers, four right there and that one right there. And then I have my fours that I really love to death. I mean, like this, this box alone, I, I gotta rate this box like, this is probably a 10 out of 10 right here. This is filled with fire. This box is literally gasoline. These are the snakeskin fours. I guarantee you, I bet my last dollar that if you had a room full of 50 sneaker heads, about three of them would have these. Not because they don't like them, but because one, they're rare and they're expensive. A lot of people just don't put their money where their mouth is when it comes to shoes. A lot of people all talk, you know? Like these right here, man. These are my good friend, Travis Scott's not online right there. Me and Travis Scott, we're not real friends, but I mean, I aspire to be his friend one day. If you watching this video, Travis, you see I got your shoes, man. Come, come, what do I gotta do, man? Cactus Jack, I got your album, I got your shoes. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what else you want me to do, bro. I'm trying to get a feature, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know how much you charge, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't DM me back. But um, it's probably because you was busy taking care of your kid, you know? But we're going to leave Travis alone. We're going to jump into the Levi's. These are crazy, man. I actually wore these to Mexico for my fiance royalty's birthday. That was lit. I took these shoes out the country. You know why? Not because I wanted to swag out of side the country, but I thought I wasn't going to ever come back. And I was like, you know what? I need these. If I'm gonna die in Mexico, I'm gonna have these Levi's on and I'm gonna be the freshest dude dead. But obviously I'm still here, so praise the most high for that. These are the white Levi fours, man. You know, I couldn't get the blue ones without getting the white ones. These are crazy. I got a funny story about these too, man. I got stories for almost all my shoes, but this is the most recent sneaker story I have. So my friend who's actually here right now, his name is Jose, shout out to Jose. He came straight over here. He drove my camera crew here, you know what I'm saying? He was driving. He was driving himself, hands on the steering wheel. He came right upstairs and picked these up. I'm like, what the heck? Out of all my shoes, he found the all white pair of Levi's. Unworn, man. Unworn. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do people do that? They come right into the room and pick up the most, like royalty, for instance, when, when she unboxed this on camera, she was like, oh, uh oh. Like, why? why? Why do you pick up the most expensive, precious thing and just flimsy it around. But actually he wasn't flimsy it around, but still it was just funny to see. But I'm gonna give you guys another story. These are probably the ugliest pair of shoes that I own. I probably only got these because I was feeling very hype beastish. Um, I will never wear these. I put them on in the video and acted like they were comfortable, but this might not be my right side. These shoes hurt, man. And they're just whack. Royalty roasted me for like 10 minutes straight. She called them Tiger Woods shoes. And it's just like, I don't know why I got them, man. I think I only got them because they was off-white and I needed one more pair of off-white to fill up the off-white section. But either way, that's just crazy, man. You wanna see something else that's crazy? These Versace boxing gloves right here. I made a mistake and bought these, man. These things was $3,700, man. I, I ain't even know that. They don't even have a tag on here, you see? So what I saw in the store, it said exactly what you see. It don't have no money on there, no dollar signs. It don't cost nothing. So I thought it was free, put it up on the um, register, and next thing you know, I went home, looked at the receipt, and saw they ripped me off. But you know what, I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna get into actually my top 10 favorite shoes out of all the shoes in my collection. And you gotta start with number one. My favorite shoe out of my whole collection is the Nike Air Mags, all right? And the only reason why I'm not gonna touch them is because if I touch them, then there might be some dirt on my hands or oil or sweat, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna respect the Nike Air Mag and I'm gonna leave it right there. That is my favorite shoe, not because it's the most expensive shoe in my collection, not because this movie came out in 1989, which just so happens to be the year I was born, not because Marty McFly actually has a disease and he actually had these for charity and donated them all for charity cause, 
but these are my favorite shoes because I only paid $10 for them. And these are not replicas, folks. I won these shoes at Urban Necessities inside of a heat locker. My girl gave me a $20 bill. I slapped it in on camera. The first five I lost, the second five I won these shoes. I passed out, I hopped up, I ran around the store. I came back to my senses and the owner, shout out to him, JC, he owns the store Urban Necessities. He actually tried to buy them from me. He tried to take the shoes from me and give me like 5,000. I'm like, no, no way possible. I need this. These are my holy grails. So there you have it. Those are my favorite shoes in my collection right there. Second most favorite shoe. Ain't too far away. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a real quick spin. Got the Ben Nines. I just recently got these. It's, it ain't even been two months since I had these. No, I've never worn them. No, I will never wear them. They're the most heaviest shoe I have. I think they're the most expensive retro Jordan that I have. And they're the most rarest retro Jordan that I have. All that being said, I almost had these when they originally released, but the line was crazy. It was all fake too. It was like everybody that was in line, they, they didn't even get the shoes. It was like the people that worked there, they got the shoes and sold them to whoever they wanted to sell them to. Point being said, I found out later on that NBA players would specifically ship these shoes for free. So that's what happened. A lot of NBA players, they just took the shoes and then they left a couple on the market, which obviously I wasn't able to get until this year, 2018. And the number three shoe in my top 10 favorite shoes has to be this Michael Jackson Christian Louboutin, all right? Now these aren't the dress shoe, these are the sneaker, which means that the bottom never scratches away. For instance, I'll show you these. These are the dress shoe type. The hard sole, as you can see, with one wear, you can scrape the red off the bottom of your shoes, which is a great thing because it lets people know you actually wear your shoes. But if you're like me and you want your stuff to always look new, that's not a good thing at all because obviously that just looks messed up, right? But like I said, these will never look like that. And these just so happen to be my third top 10 favorite shoe. When these came out, I was very skeptical. I didn't know if it was real or not. I was like, this is one of those pictures that's floating around the internet of a shoe that will never come out. And it actually ended up being real. I had to grab these shoes, man. These shoes reminded me of everything that I stand for. And I'm not just saying that because it's like gold, all right? I mean flashy. I'm a flashy type of guy. I like flashy things, man. I'm flamboyant. I wanna be seen. And you know what I'm saying? These shoes represent all of that. If you wear them shoes, guarantee you everyone's gonna be looking down. So those made it to the top four. I'm gonna go ahead and move down here because I just know that these lab fours are in the top 10 and I'm gonna just name them top five. All right, these shoes have something on them right now, but that's because I wear these shoes a lot. I gotta get a baby wipe to get that off. But you know what, it's kinda getting on my nerves, so I'm gonna use some spit real quick. And as you can see, if you could even see that to begin with, it's gone. True sneakerheads never let things stick on their shoes anyway, so I don't know why that was there. But yeah, that made it to the top five, guys. And I'm gonna definitely have to get to top six right now. These are super lit right here, man. These are the Raging Bull Fives. I remember when I first got them, man, I could not believe that I actually had these because when these came out, I could not afford them. They came out in a package, which means there was two pair of shoes that came with one sale and you had to pay extra to get them. Obviously, it's two pair of shoes. So I never was able to get them until obviously very recently. Now, this is gonna be hard because all four of these 12s right here are the PSN Y 12s. They all look exactly the same, just a different color. But out of all of these, they have to, these shoe in general has to make it to the top 10. All right, because of the quality of this shoe. I'm gonna just go ahead and pick these right here. These are like burgundy, it's purplish. These shoes right here are super lit, man. I've always wanted to shoe this color. And then the fact that it has this type of design, like the imprint on these shoes, they're to die for. You literally have to be here in real life to feel them. Matter of fact, I'm gonna help you guys. I'm gonna compare these to a regular pair of Retro 12s, all right? If you can see that, I don't know how good you can see that. These have regular stitching, all right? These don't have stitching at all. It's like indented in there. The, the, the type of machine they use is crazy. I don't know what they did to make it look like that, but it definitely stands out and is well worth what they cost, man. Look at the bottom, it's a gum bottom. You can barely tell, but it's super lit, bruh. And also I do like these shoes, but they don't make it to the top 10 because those shoes came out a lot of times. Now, what I mean by that is these are original. These are some OGs, which means they just keep coming out. They're never gonna stop re-releasing these shoes, which make them basically less valuable every time they drop them again. But I think that was top six over there. So we gotta move on to seven. All right, 
My seventh favorite shoe is gonna go to these right here. These are the Doran Becker 8s. I got these from Urban Necessities. These mugs are super lit. I already told you a little bit about Doran Beckers earlier. Kids make these, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right there. I think it's uh, Ryland and Blake. Blake is the creator and his little brother Ryland, he wanted to throw his name in there too. That's super lit, man. Look, look at the insole. I love shoes with stories and I love shoes with extra designs because like I've been showing you guys, if I pick out another pair of random eights, they're not gonna look like this. They're not gonna look anything like this at all. Actually, let's let's get these right here. These are super lit, all right, right? These aren't just regular A's. These actually came out in a pack, the championship pack. They even got confetti all over the bottom, confetti on the inside. They actually came with real confetti. But what it did not come with, hold on, they're strapped. Let me unstrap them. Oh. This was, just, this was just a bad example. All right, this did come with something on it. World champions again and again. That's why I shouldn't have chose this one. I kind of figured it. I actually said this won't be a good one because this is this came out in the package, which means they put a lot of extra detail into that one. But I will find a pair of retro eights that are as regular as they come. And what I mean by that is they didn't put any extra effort into it. All right, here we go. You see that? I love Jordans with stories behind them, like the ones we just showed you, the championship eights or those Doran Becker eights. But these Jordans right here, I like these as well. These are some OGs, you feel me? These are something that are never gonna go out of style. You can always pull these out and everyone will respect you. You know what I'm saying? Jordan wore these shoes right here. You gotta stay on track. Those is my seventh favorite pair of shoes. So I'm gonna move on to eight. I'm gonna have to go with a pair of 11s. It's just not fair if I don't. All right, these Pantone 11s right here, these have a funny story behind them and this make it to my eighth favorite shoe. If you haven't noticed already, it's way bigger than my average shoe. This is a size 14, I'm not making that up guys. I wear a 12, but this is a size 14. I'm gonna try to show you this tag, but I know how hard it is to see the inside of a shoe. But anyway, the story is I went inside Urban Necessities, one of my favorite shoe stores, a consignment store that sells other people's shoes. And this is the only one they had that I could put my foot in. I ain't gonna say fit, cause obviously I can't fit it, but I could at least get my foot in. I bought it, man. True hype beast moment right there. I needed the shoe more than I wanted the shoe, so I got the shoe. And because it obviously don't fit me, I had to love it that much more to get it. So that definitely makes it to the top 10. At number eight, all right, we're gonna go to number nine and we almost done with the top 10. And I'm gonna have to choose these right here. These are super special for the love of the game nines. Look at that, man. I don't know too many people with these right now. And it's probably not because they don't like them. It's because these are rare. These are hard to find. These are, they're, they're just, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're not your average shoe. Like these, for instance, and these did not make it to the top 10. But these are your regular average nine. And I guarantee you, the people that you look up to that collect shoes, they for the love of the game. And these just have the regular 23 right there. But I have to find my top 10 most favorite shoe right now which is gonna be hard because I've already went through the other ones and I don't got no more room to mess up. So if I've added a shoe that don't belong, we gonna find out. We gonna end this with this one right here. The Slam Dunk Sixes. I had to choose these, man. It took me a while to get these as well. When these actually released, I did not get them because I was very skeptical. There were a lot of fakes going out that didn't have the print right and I just wasn't trying to be an owner of one of them. So I had to wait till JC at Urban Necessities got my size. And as you can see, I've never worn them. Still got the tag on them. Only paid 450. So originally these were 250. I paid 200 extra for these. That's still a good deal, if you ask me. Now guys, that's my favorite top 10 shoes in my collection. But now we have more lists to go down just to give you guys a better insight of how I look at my shoes. All right, guys, I asked myself some questions, some that were actually funny. One being, if there was only one shoe that I could wear and I had to wear for the rest of my life, only one, which shoe would that be? I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna go straight to it. It's the OG Bread 11. It would have to be this shoe because first of all, I would need a shoe that was not creasable, all right? I wouldn't want to be walking around with some crease shoes. For instance, these shoes I've only worn once. I have a crease right there, all right? So I can't wear no retro ones because those won't last. This patent leather is literally indestructible. Royalty burned a pair of these before, okay? And the only part that was still there was this patent leather. I'm not making that up. All this around it burned to pieces but this part was still there. So you know what? I would definitely wear this shoe for the rest of my life if I had to. It also goes well with blue jeans. Like you don't have to wear all black with this. 
You don't have to match this with red. You can wear a blue outfit, you can wear a black tee, a white tee. I'm dead serious. This would be the shoe of any shoe I had to wear for the rest of my life. Definitely. OG Brett 11. Now guys, in the comment section right now, I want you to answer what shoe you would choose to wear if you only had one option for the rest of your life, all right? No, it doesn't have to be in my collection. It could be any shoe. It could be Vans, Chuck Taylors, Timberlands, you name it, all right, guys? But after that, I think it's best that we jump into my favorite retros, one through 18. I would normally say 14, but you already know, we got some 18s now, all right? So I'm gonna start from 18 since they're already right here. My favorite 18 of them all, it's gonna have to be these right here, man. This is probably one of the most rawest colorways I've never seen a shoe this color. I got some other orange shoes like these shatter boards right here, but the difference is the material. This is orange suede, this is orange leather. Premium leather, by the way, but still. These shoes are super lit. Look at that. If you can see that, there's like an orange metallic little thing in there. This thing is crazy, man. You have to be in a right angle where the light hits off it and it just shows it for what it really is. And it's on both sides, all right? This will definitely be my favorite 18. Now moving down the list to 14. All right guys, my favorite 14 is right here, the Ferrari 14s. Now for those of you that has been subscribed a long time, you know what the history between these shoes. I actually did a prank on my kids with one of these pairs of shoes that I don't own anymore, all right? I markered them up with permanent marker and said that the kids did it and they were all crying and blaming each other and it was hilarious, man. I only did that because I knew that I had a whole nother brand new pair and I was gonna be able to dispose the other ones. It was super lit, man. So these are definitely my favorite 14s out of the whole collection of 14s. It's a, it's a battle, man. It's a real battle between these two right here. But I'm going to go ahead and choose these. The CP3, these are the homes. I got the Away and the homes. These mugs are super nasty, man. I love purple shoes, man. And I don't even know what color this is. I'm going to call this aquamarine blue. But I definitely love that. These shoes have never been worn, and I don't think I'm going to wear them. For the respect that it's one of my favorite shoes that I got. All right, so this is going to be the top 13 I got. We're gonna move to 12. I got a lot of 12s and a lot of love for 12s. Actually, I got the whole PSNY collection up there. All right, man, I got a lot of love for New York. I've been there like three times in my life. Super mad respect for you guys out there, B. And you know what? I don't think it's fair that I don't have no Timberlands in my collection. That's crazy. I own Timberlands, but they're in my closet. I didn't bring them in here. But to my advantage, guys, my favorite pair of 12s is a look like Timberland right here the PSNY collection, the brown ones. Look at that, man. These look like a pair of Jordan Timberlands. So of course, just because I don't rock tens like that, I'll be rocking these when the time is right. You feel me? And the next time I go to New York, I think I've already wore these to New York, but I'm definitely taking these back. You already know how I feel about the material. You know about the design. I talked about that with the purple ones earlier. But yeah, those are my top 12s. I'm going to be 11. Guys, I already showed you the shoe that I would wear if I only had one shoe left for the rest of my life. And it just so happened to be an 11. So I can't choose that same shoe. All right. Now I got these right here. I'm going to pull them both out because they're both the same, but very different. You're going to see why. Here we have it, man. The Space Jams. One worn, one never touched. All right. You choose which one has been worn and which one hasn't been worn. This is definitely my favorite 11 out of the whole collection, no matter what. And this is the 45 edition, all right? This isn't the 23. The original Space Jams that I used to have, which was like 30 times worse looking than this, the decoloration is crazy. They looked orange. I sold them, all right? I sold them to this guy named Lenny. I think that was his name, or Vinny. I don't remember, something like that, but shouts out to you if you're watching this video, man. You're lucky you gotta have those shoes. So those are gonna be my top 11s. And moving forward to my top 10, that's gonna have to be these shoes right here, man. I never wore them, I never took the tag off. It's crazy, these are my Paris 10s right here. You see I got them from Flight Club a couple years ago. I never wore them or took the tag off. These are the Paris 10s that dropped right after my man's Prince died. Everyone knows him famously for his Purple Rain album. And these just reminded me so much of Prince in his Purple Rain album. I had to cop these and not wear them for the simple fact that I had to put some respect on Prince's name, you feel me? Not wear these shoes, not get them all dirty and stuff. Keep them for the fact that they're a history in the making. All right guys, I showed you my top 18s, 14s, 13s, 12s, 11s, and 10s. Moving forward to the nines. I did a lot of talking about these Ben nines right here. So obviously these are my favorite nines, but for those of you in the comment section saying, come on, man, you keep talking about the same shoes. Talk about something new. How about these Mellow Nines? They're very similar. That's why they're so close together. And these are definitely, if not one of my favorite shoes in my collection, 
definitely my favorite nine. But I can't just drop the bins, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, moving on to the eight spot on the list for Retro 8s. We bring to you the OVO 8s. Shout out to Drizzy Drake. We got three fingerprints right there from when Jordan won the championship. Obviously, he had champagne all on his hands, and he actually touched the gold part of the shoe. These are authentic fingerprints. That's crazy. They lasered them into the shoe. Everybody that bought these shoes has it. I never even took the plastic off mine. I'm sure you can't see that, but there's plastic making sure that the fingerprints don't get messed up. I'm never taking that off, all right? It's crazy. I wore these shoes before. You got the gold under there, the glitter within the gum bottom. Glitter right there. The premium suede that I don't want to touch and get dirty. You got two more fingerprints on this side. These shoes are super lit, man, and these definitely are my favorite eights. Moving forward to my top sevens. Moving on to seven, I'm gonna have to pull out both of these shoes, and this will probably be the first time that I did that, and that's for this simple reason right here. I've worn them, so they ain't as clean as they could look or should look, but as you can see, they says super right there and explosive at the bottom. These are also Doran Becca sevens, and they were created by a little kid as well. His name is in the box. I don't know where the box is right now. It ain't in here, or I would be able to read that off, but you know what's crazy? Is his name anywhere on here? I think his name is DJ or something like that. But these are guitar picks. And he actually chose to put these guitar pick symbol thingies there because he likes to play guitar, which is actually a cartoon version of him playing a 23 Jumpman guitar on the bottom. Super lit, man. And on the side, you got the gold and all these designs within the shoe are just beautiful. It looks kind of royalish when you look at this shoe. Whoever created these, he had royal written all in his mind. He got the gold right there, the gold arches, and then this material right here that just, it looks holographic to the natural eye. It's super lit. You go onto the back and it just, Got all these bedazzled thingies, thingies, man. It's just super lit, man. This kid was very creative. Those were my eights and sevens, but these are my sixes right here. Back to only having to pull out one shoe, thank goodness, because I only got two hands. But these are the Gatorade sixes. I've worn these before, and I've actually gave away a brand new pair of these as well. I remember when I went on my first tour, I was trying to sell out so bad that I said, whoever is the first city to sell out their tourist tickets, I will give away a pair of Gatorade sixes to that city. And Dallas was the first city to sell out and I actually did give away a pair of these. It was super lit, man. The guy was actually my size. He wore my size. It's crazy, man. And I had told everybody watching the video to always remember that law of attraction is real and that the inside of these shoes actually reads, if I could be. I wanted everybody to say, if I could be the owner of these, then I would be. And that guy must have said it because he was the owner. That's crazy. Retro sixes, my favorite one. Moving on to the fives. It's crazy, man. I really love these fives right here a lot. But then I really love my fives right here, the Fresh Prince fives. But then I really love these fives right here. It's just a lot going on, man. These camouflage shoes right here, these were the shoes I opted up to get instead of the actually Supreme camouflage shoes. When I was looking at the Supreme fives, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna sit here and lie, and I'm not gonna be a hype beast right now. I didn't cop those Supreme fives only because those were some of the most hype beast shoes I've ever seen created. But these, on the other hand, these are actually raw, all right? They don't just say Supreme on the side that making them raw. The colorway and the material is actually raw. The Supreme shoes are just straight leather. It was like a regular five. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pull out exactly what those Supreme fives resembled to me a little bit. These fire red fives right here I've never worn. These look like a pair of Supreme Fives missing the sup on the side. So I was like, you know what? I already have a pair. I don't think it'll be right for me to get the other pair that just says sup on it. So instead, I'm gonna get these and that's the story of these. And if you look on the back right there, it got an X and the Air 23. That's super lit, man. I actually wish that was the symbol for Jordan. That's crazy. Here we go. How can I ever forget about this? I already knew what my favorite fours was. They right here in my Boxer Kicks box. My snake skin fours as I fall out my flip flops. It's crazy, man. These shoes are super lit. Very special shoe right here, man. Real material. These, it's not no fake snake skin. This is authentic snake skin. And even on the inside, premium leather. Like this is the most expensively created Jordan ever, I think. I think they actually had to pay to create these. This, this wasn't no like $2.50 shoe. Because for those of you that didn't know, a lot of times they create these shoes and it doesn't cost even a fraction of what we pay. I mean, literally they could be paying a kid up somewhere of like to $10 to create one pair of shoes and then they sell it for $2.50 and then it gets resold for like, well, this shoe specifically like $900. I don't really know. I think it was like $900 though, but 
it's crazy, man. But these shoes, like I was saying, these is definitely worth it. Out of all the shoes created by Jordan, this material is actually legit, man. So those are my favorite fours. They top the Cactus Jacks, that's crazy. But we gotta move to my favorite threes. My favorite retro three is right here. The BHM Retro Threes, AKA the Black History Month Retro Threes. Now, a lot of you might say these are plain, but I already told you that Retro Threes are plain in itself, but these are not plain, all right? We got suede right here with the double stitching, that being gold. Then we got black leather right there and here. This isn't the regular cement print, all right? We got a lot of stuff going on right here. I see the, somebody throwing up one of the Illuminati symbols. We got 1987 right there. We have a lot of stuff. We got the MVP print. It's a lot of stuff going on with these shoes and even on the inside. It reads a call to greatness and then it got a bunch of numbers in there, Roman numerals. It's crazy, man. Favorite three going to the BHM threes, Black History Month. And you can't forget about that. They also got the 1976 with the BHM right there. It's crazy, man. These shoes took a lot of effort to create. They aren't as regular as the regular threes come. All right, but we're gonna move down here to my favorite retro twos. And we end up right here, guys, at the gold section to the Kai 54 twos. Look at that, man. These mugs got gold on the back, gold on the front. Look at that. Instead of a regular Jumpman, we got the Q54 right there, super lit. These shoes are super comfortable, got the super soft material in there. I do like leather, but when the leather is on the inside and I don't wear socks, it's kind of sweaty in there. So these shoes are actually way more comfortable. Can't forget to show you the gum bottom with the Q right there. Super lit, man. These shoes are super lit. And last but never least, my favorite retro one. I wish I could say these right here, but I'm gonna tell you a story. These would have been my favorite retro ones if these were the original all gold and black retro ones. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but a long time ago when I was a kid, some retro ones released, they were all black and they had gold, all right? If these were them, these would be my top retro ones, but these aren't. They got white right there, white right there. I love these, but these are my favorite retro ones. I guess you guys are probably wondering why I showed you them then, but hey, it's cool because my favorite retro one is right here, guys, and you no longer have to wait to find out. It's the anniversary retro ones, and I don't even think it's right that I show you the shoe without showing you how it came, all right? That's right, it came in this aluminum case right here, the Jordan Jumpman case. It's crazy, man. The anniversary retro ones came out when I was in college, and I still remember walking through the hallways. Oh, snap. All right, guys, this is my designer section. We already went over how many I got, but for those of you that skip past that part, we're gonna count one more time. We got four rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 28 pair of designer shoes right here, guys. Super lit. Variety is crazy. All right, and I got Giuseppe's up here. I got some gold Bushimis right there. I got some Balenciagas right here, some more Giuseppe's right there. My only pair of Mason Margiela's. I got Andy's favorite pair of shoes, my actual recorder, who's recording this right now. He's over there licking his lips. He loves these Gucci shoes, man. He's probably picked these shoes like eight times today. Talk about how he can't wait to get his first pair of Gucci shoes. Anyway, I also have these Gucci's and these limited edition Louis Vuitton shoes. These are super lit to me, man. I love creativity like that. It could have been all brown or all white or all black, but it's actually all three. Super lit right there. Only pair of Louis Vuitton shoes, by the way. I got some more Gucci's, some red bottom dress shoes. Brand new Gucci's never worn over there. Whole lot of red bottoms right here. These are all red bottoms, nothing else. So we got red bottoms in the middle, and then all these are red bottoms. Super love these shoes, all of them, man. Have a lot of respect for red bottoms and everything they represent. Now guys, like most of you out there watching this video today, I actually come from humble beginnings, basically meaning I could not afford even to think about buying no Jordans back in the day. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, my first pair of Jordans that I ever purchased with my own money was a pair of retro ones. Not because it was my favorite number or favorite Jordan, but simply because it was the only Jordan that I could afford. It was the cheapest and always has been the cheapest Jordan on the market. And it still is today, that's crazy. But I still have a pair that look just like the first pair I ever bought. This isn't the actual shoe, but believe you me, this one is very old. It came with me to Vegas from Gary. This shoe is like, like nine years old right here alone. But my first Jordan ever was this color. It was the North Carolina colorway which is crazy, I'm gonna give you guys a little message. I'm actually sending my BMW to Chicago via my guy CJ on 32s. He's gonna paint my BMW this color. Baby blue, North Carolina blue and white. It's gonna be sick. Wait till you guys see it, man. You know I'm a man of my word and I would not make nothing up. So, 
With that being said, that was my first Jordan ever bought. I would like to know in the comment section, what are you guys' first Jordans you ever bought? Not your parents. Don't tell me what mom and dad bought you. Tell me what you saved up and got for yourself. All right, guys, the million dollar question is, how many shoes do you plan on collecting? Well, for those of you guys actually wondering, no, I'm nowhere near finished with 302 pair. I'm actually planning on collecting somewhere up north of 500 pair of shoes. So if the good Lord let it be, then one day I might have a thousand pair of shoes. Who knows? But until then, I am not stopping no time soon. So you can catch me in your nearest sneaker store or you can just catch me at home ordering them online or waiting on my sneaker plug, Ashley, to bring them. Whatever, guys. A question that I've always wanted to answer myself personally, and some of you might have this question for me, if I could create any shoe, what shoe would it be and what would it look like? Well, I've thought hard about this, guys. I would not recreate a Jordan. Jordan is Jordan, all right? And I'm pretty sure if I created a Jordan, it would look just like the Jordan you would create. I personally, going off my own taste and how I like to be, I would have to create a designer shoe. You know what I'm saying? I would design it all the way up. It would definitely have spikes on it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say it would be a Christian Louboutin that I would create for myself and no one would be able to purchase this shoe. It would be a one of one, all right? So I'm just gonna try to visualize this for you guys, all right? In my head, I can see it, but I'm me. So obviously you can't see what I can see in my head, but first of all, it would have to be red bloody shoes you know the bottom's gonna be red and it's gonna separate with white it's gonna kind of be a candy cane shoe so you got the red bottom with the white separating it but the white isn't gonna be a regular leather it's gonna be gum bottom white i've never seen such a thing all right i've never seen it i see the blue gum bottoms i see the purple gum bottoms i see green gum bottoms so many types i see gum bottoms that turn yellow from decoloration but i've never seen the white gum bottom so you got the bottom of the shoe. Obviously, it's gonna read Louboutin. And then on the top, it's gonna be spiked out. Spikes all over it. The spikes would have to be gold, though, all right? And then the word Louboutin on the inside of the shoe, because I'm gonna pull out one Louboutin for you guys. On the inside of every Louboutin, it reads Louboutin in a circle. I would change that. It would be on the outside, all right? I don't know whose idea that was, because quite frankly, the way I walk, you can't even see the Louboutin sign on the inside unless I duck walk. And I ain't about to be walking like this just to show you what kind of shoes I got on. I'd rather it, i much rather it be right here, guys. And you can comment in the comment section if you feel the way I feel about that. But that's just that. So we already got the red part out the way, the white gum bottom part out the way. This part right here is gonna be red as well. All right, the only reason why it's gonna be white right here is to separate it from the red bottom so that you know it's not an all red shoe. But this would be red as well. The spikes would be gold. We already got that out the way. And the inside under the spikes would be suede, all right? Egyptian suede. The colorway would be a one of a kind. I don't know the name of this color. We're gonna call it the CJ colorway, all right? Basically, what I'm trying to say is it would be that the tank, you see the tank. When you see the tank and it's driving in the sun, it might be gold or it might be blue or it might be purple. That's what this would be. But suede, you see what I'm saying? Like, how could anyone create something like that? It would be a one-on-one -on -one shoe, only I could have it. And of course I would find something to wear with it. Probably a black tee, some black jeans. That would be all I need to rock with them. Those would be the CJ Lubes. All right guys, right here, I'm gonna show you some of my candy packs. Candy pack meaning this. It's the exact same shoe, just a different color. And as you can see, we got the yellow and the green. And if you wanna say, these are red lights, yellow lights, green lights, but I've never seen a blue light, but if you want to say blue light too, all right? Because all of these are retro twos, but they're all different colors. And the crazy thing about these, they all came out at the same time, man. I'm not making this up. This candy pack came out not together. You had to singly buy them all. You couldn't just pay one price and get them all together, but you could walk in the store the same day and get all three of these shoes. Crazy thing about that is same went for these 18s which is exactly why I have them. They all came out at the same time, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna call them the Candy Pack, and these are the Candy Pack 18s. I got the Candy Pack 2s and the Candy Pack 18s. That's crazy because I've been known to say that I don't rock any Jordan past 14, and I skipped 15s, 16s, and 17s, and got my first 18s, but only because they came out in the Candy Pack. Is that high beast or what? A lot of you are actually probably saying things like, Dang, man, all he care about is Jordans. All he care about is designer shoes. I actually got some Adidas as well for you Adidas lovers out there, man. Picked up me some Pharrell NMDs. These are the clouds. That's crazy, man. I found some funny things out about these shoes. They actually teach kids a lot about their body parts. Like on the inside of these right here, it got your pelvis, your bladder, 
just a bunch of stuff going on your stomach you can barely see it but it goes all the way up to the top it's just all kinds of crazy things in these shoes man so shout out to pharrell for actually teaching kids and not just putting out things for the swag of it but i actually got these red october look at these nmds man these are super lit i wore these on the 4th of july just to be really bright and vibrant let everybody know where i was at the time you know what i'm saying i was feeling fireish so i wore those on the 4th of july i won't ever forget that it's crazy man i'm gonna give you a little else something that you probably wouldn't expect to see some ken griffey juniors man and look how lit these mugs are these are the original ones so you got the scrapes like I used to wear these a lot, as you can see. I got scrapes still on them, man. But for the most part, that's the only damage that I have on there. But these shoes are one of the tallest pair of shoes that I have. I really love these shoes a lot. I just don't wear them anymore. But trust me, I used to wear the hell out of them. I lost all the other colorways that I had. They just got messed up from wearing them so much. But I had, I think like four pair of those different colorways and they was lit. We're gonna move down to a pair of random shoes. Actually, here they are right here. Royalty bought me these, man. My fiance brought me these from Flight Club. She actually went there in person in California and bought these. She's been to Flight Club before me because I can honestly say in real life, I've never been to a Flight Club. Not that I know of. I think I did one time. I don't know. I don't remember, but I think if I have, she did beat me there. This shoe got a lot of crazy stuff going on. I don't know what that is, but I like to call that a demon. You know what I'm saying? It just look like one of those Baphomet things from an Illuminati. But it's crazy. Royalty bought me this. I didn't buy this for myself. It's crazy. I don't know if you guys are up on these, but I got the Supreme Forces as well. The white end black pyramid i really like these a lot i saw lebron james son rock these actually in a family photo i was like yo that's crazy my kids better not ever wear these in a family photo but they are nice they are nice other shoes over here are just regular schmegglers you know what i'm saying no hate towards them but i'd rather not now guys i have to let you guys know this a lot of you trolls were probably saying things like wait a minute we caught you cj you don't got 302 pair of shoes you got 300 pair of shoes now for those of you saying, well, I didn't catch that, why would they say that? Well, these right here are the same shoes that are over there. That's why it's only one shoe in each box right here. But I didn't count these over, all right? I counted the boxes specifically because I have three pair of shoes in one box. Now this is only possible because they're Chuck Taylors and they can all fit in there. But you have to count these, all right? You just have to. Chuck Taylors are super legit. They're dirty as can be, and I still rock these, all right? Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I will never throw these away. These are classic, and I always count these when I'm counting all my shoes, and you should too. If you got Chuck Taylors, count them, man. They're a part of your shoe collection. Snoop Dogg wear Chuck Taylors, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know a lot of my subscribers love Yeezys, 350s in particular. That's why I'm about to say something about them, all right? Because I did notice that I just totally left them all the way out this video. It's almost as if I didn't have no Yeezys, but I actually have four, five, six pair of Yeezys right here, guys. And my favorite ones are these right here. Actually, my most favorite shoe to wear in my whole collection is this, all right? This is the most comfortable shoe I own. No shoe can compare to this when it comes to comfortability or durability. I've literally did everything to these shoes. I'm, you never see me do this again to anything. But a Yeezy, it can handle it, man. I'm swearing to you. I'm not just talking. This shoe is the ultimate shoe. Matter of fact, I wish I could retract everything I said. If there was only one shoe I had to wear for the rest of my life, it would not be those OG Brady 11s. It would be these. But that's my take on Yeezys, man. Actually, something else funny. I never wore these Yeezys or took the tag off. These are super lit, but they just look so much like this, man. Am I lying or making this up? The only difference is the shoestring and a little bit of color difference, but other than that, these are the same shoes. Yeezy thought he was slick. Yeezy, I'm coming for you, bro. All right, guys, as I get ready to close this video, I hold these last two shoes in my hands, both being retro fives and both being super rare. The green beans and the RA lasers. You name somebody that you know has these shoes and I'll give you personally a dollar on Cash App, all right? But other than that, man, let me know what shoe you wished I actually explained about or talked about rather and pulled out and showed. Let me know what shoes that you honestly thought were in my top 10 that I didn't put in the top 10. Just let me know every discrepancy you have with this video and we'll see if it's worth doing another video, all right guys? Because like I said, I'm not nowhere near done, but I don't think it's smart to keep posting shoe videos every month or every other month just because I got a couple of pair. So that's why it took me this long to come out with a new sneaker video, guys. Honestly, it's almost been two years since I did such a thing. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, man. I'm striving for 500,000 likes this video, man. Just get them numbers up. Everybody in America, let's say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Peace.